it's changed completely as an activity. Because there used to be that thing as well where, where families at least once a week would eat together. You would sit down, have your Sunday roast, and you would all eat together, and everyone made the efforts. And you would do that so that when you ate together, you realised why for the rest of the week you were best apart. Because it was a nightmare. <laughs> but it was during that time that we had those Sunday roasts. That's something that happened to me. That was a, a massive step into manhood. I was 19 years of age. It was 1985. I went home. My mum had got the Sunday roast together. And I said, Mum, I'm not eating that. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> this is 1985, remember? <laughs> this was at the time of Live Aid. My mum said, look, son, I'm not sending your ham to Africa. It'll never get where. I said, no, that's not the reason, Mum. I'm a vegetarian from now on. She just went, you better tell your father. <laughs> I went in. I told me dad I was a vegetarian. My dad looked at me like I just told him I joined village people. <laughs> but as a family tradition, nothing changed. We still had the Sunday roast. And anyone in this room who was a vegetarian at that time will tell you this is the way it was. There wasn't any corn, there wasn't any Linda McCartney meals. But what happened is you had the same roast as everyone else. You had the potatoes, you had the veg, you had the gravy, but instead of having the chicken, you had a five-inch pizza. On the <laughs> That's what I had. Five, because also in 1985, five-inch pizza was the only pizza you were going to get. You were going to Iceland or Quicksave, and they had them in packets of seven. <laughs> Cheese and tomato, that's all that you were getting in this country. <laughs> Cheese and tomato pizza. And that was exotic, it was that big, that big. That's how pizza was. That was the only pizza that we knew. Now you can get pizza and it comes to your house. <laughs> In 1985, you couldn't get pizza to your house, but you could get bin men 